requirements uh, for developing a static website under Microsoft Publisher Part 1. Let's look at it. What are those requirements that are, are very vital when you start to develop mainly a website? But here we are looking at static. We shall definitely come up with the difference between a static website and a dynamic website. What could really be the difference? So what are the, those requirements that one may need to understand when it comes to developing a website, mainly static? Uh, let's look at one. The first uh, main requirement, you need to first create what we call a folder. That is the first piece of it, a folder first things forward if you are going to design a website you have to create a folder where are you going to collect all your items for instance photos you're going to keep the photos in the same folder you're going to keep all your pages that you save you don't save them anyhowly but you have to look for those that folder where you have to save all your items look at the website which has buttons which has next which uh, has uh, previous pages which has uh, contact us uh, any other thing that you may talk of when it comes to web development all those pages you're going to save them in the same folder that same folder is where for instance you want to create a link that will link you to another page which is not uh, part of your 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 website all those things should be create should be stored in that one folder so you have to name that folder so that you don't forget it or for easy review and easy access of your information so uh, among the requirements that we've seen we need a folder first you have to create a folder where you're going to keep all your items uh, let's look at the photos because you are going to develop for instance a static website uh, it may not be having any movements but we need those photos you have to create to, to choose those nice looking photos whether f uh, photoshopped or just taken according to the purpose of the project or according to the to the missions of your bosses or uh, your intentions you have to create the to choose those photos specifically uh, and create them in the folder those photos should be making sense in accordance for instance uh, our photos here we are looking at nature you see we have no you don't have to put the the, the, the website should have things that flow if you are making the photos or if you are looking about adventure or if you are making about nature look for those photos that don't mix in vehicles and unless when it comes with the the real feel of the the project so you look for those photos that bring up the meaning that even if somebody looks at that uh, those photos or that photo will imagine or will tell the meaning if you are doing f uh, fashion look for those photos that are mainly for fashion if you are doing education or if it's uh, religious look for those photos that brings out the feel even if someone does not know how to read and write but he can look look at those photos then he or she gets the right interpretation of your website another item will be at looking at the appropriate data uh, or data or appropriate information uh, you should have a rich though it is a static website but it should be rich in information yeah we feel mainly it could be a religious uh, web page or a website look for those uh, meaningful uh, quotes or information that may bring the sense in in what you're doing or that shows that you really had given up some good time while developing that website or that web page so all these may it they might be quotes or quotations those quotations keep them in the folder that we talked about in the first scenario 
keep those quotations in those folders look for those good good whether inspiration or if you are doing inspiring items whether it's education look for those uh, journals and you may link them to your page so you need all those when you download them keep them into your folder for easy reference so you have to look for the appropriate data while developing your website uh, another item in a static uh, web page we need links or hyperlink sections you may have pieces leave alone buttons that are built like home contact us more information calendar leave alone those you may be having maybe a section where you have links that talk more of that or those links that may uh, talk about maybe you are talking about uh, uh, warfare gunships and war tools you may link to some other people's website so you create those links for more links for more this you link here for more this you click that link it will forward you to that page or those other pages that you have in your folder that you want to be referenced to or it could be a project that is within uh, within another project maybe it's a school but it has uh, maybe uh, band or or youth groups or youth uh, or interact clubs so you might develop for a school then you link to to the uh, interact section or library you, you it's better to have links in that dyna in that uh, static website another issue will be on a launcher uh, that appropriate that application that will allow user to view your pages in the real web site format IG Mozilla or Internet Explorer so upon finishing developing your page you need to have a launcher on your 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 PC yeah uh, for instance to try and see how your pages look do they really look exactly like the website because you may have designed something but when some words appear different so you need to get some of these launchers and install them on your computer for instance mozilla firefox internet explorer um, you may have chrome and others there are very many other uh, launchers that can help you to look at your page as if you even if you have not yet uh, uploaded it onto your domain but you have still on it is still on to your computer but you can look at it and have the same feel like as if you are uh, live on internet so uh, you keep to have the launcher onto your computer uh, onto northbridge we have more other uh, educative tutorials you just have to come to our youtube channel which is northbridge technologies then you can choose we have a lot of Microsoft Office and other more advanced sets of ICT products will keep coming up. You can subscribe in case it comes to be useful 